Today we are out exploring a little bit more of Kathmandu and we are leaving the Tamal area and walking around 45 minutes towards the Satmandu temple. It's huge! Or otherwise known as the monkey temple and it is known that for obvious reasons. So let's go and get this day started. So since we have got here to Kathmandu, there's something we haven't been able to ignore and that is the dust that is in the air. It is just so, so dusty absolutely everywhere. And we actually learned that people wore masks like long before COVID here and that was actually to prevent the dust. And it just seems to be everywhere. And we've also seen a lot of people like throwing buckets of water and like watering down the streets in front of like their hotels, their restaurants. And I'm assuming that's to keep the dust down as well. So yeah, it kind of catches your throat every now and again. So we probably should be wearing masks more often than we are here. You've just got to love a good bus sponsored by Adidas. Very legitimate Adidas bus there, Athlean. Of course. <laughs> of course, of course. I'm so glad that we decided to walk here as well. A couple of taxis have stopped with us and asked if we want to go to Monkey Hill or Monkey Temple. But we get to see so much by walking and just like checking out the local wee neighborhoods and stuff here. It has been so cool. Okay, we have just got our first glimpse of the temple up ahead of us. We still have a bit of a walk to go and it looks like it's pretty high up. I know there's quite a few steps we have to climb to get lit, so this could be a bit of a workout this morning. <laughs> Okay, I think we have arrived at the bottom of the steps. I can see quite a lot of people, quite a few steps, and yeah, it looks pretty busy, so... No monkeys. No monkeys yet, <laughs> so let's wait and see, but I'm looking to see some monkeys. and 65 steps to climb to get up to the temple at the top but it's not too warm today so it shouldn't be too bad we see our first monkeys Look at them go. I always feel a little bit nervous whenever monkeys come around because it's like you have to hold on to everything you own very tight just in case. <laughs> it is proper busy here. It is also a Saturday at the minute and there is so so many people trying to get up and down the steps. We didn't really expect there to be this many people to be honest with you and we also have seen quite a few monkeys so far which is pretty fun. However they're all very unhealthy looking monkeys. I don't think I'd want to get too close to any of them. Hello. <laughs> They all have like really like red like bums in behind and like they just look like they're riddled with diseases so yeah I don't think we're going to get too close to them to be honest with you but yeah it's proper nice so far it is really really cool and the day is actually quite warm which is a nice change because we've been so cold here in Nepal since we've got here so today is the first day that we've actually had a bit of heat thankfully. I'm not gonna lie, this hike is hike, it's not even a hike, it's just a few steps, but it is taking it out of me. And we know you can also pay for a taxi to take you to the top. Oh, we thought now we'll be grand, we'll walk up, but it's hot. He's just got an itchy face. Oh, not too close. <laughs> not too close. <laughs> Okay, we need to pay in. <laughs> okay, so we have just had to pay an entrance ticket. It was 200 rupees each um, for people from a foreign country, or if you're local, I think it's 50 rupees, or maybe free, I'm not too sure. But if you're like us and you're a tourist and you're a foreigner here, 200 rupees, so it's not too bad. And to be honest, I think it's gonna be definitely worth it. It looks beautiful so far, and the view behind us over Kathmandu City is absolutely ridiculous, to be honest, it is amazing. So I'm excited to get in and see the temple. I'm gonna see loads of monkeys. It's so busy. It's huge. There's just people everywhere. I want to push through the crowds to get anywhere. So now that we 
we made it up to the top. We thought that there was just a temple up here, but it turns out there's like a full little town or village, and it's so interesting. There's so many things to check out. So we did think that we were only gonna be here for maybe like a half an hour, but I think we might be here for a bit longer. So as Ashley said, most tourists and foreigners know this place as Monkey Temple. But to be honest with you, there's not just monkeys around. There is loads of different dogs. There's loads of different types of bird species as well. A lot of pigeons, but there is loads of really big, big birds. And we don't know if they're like eagles or some sort of falcon or what they are, but they have like a massive wingspan. They are just flying really high above the place. And I really want to know what they are. So if you do know what type of the, the big birds are here in the temple area or just around Kathmandu, we have just seen them as well. Please let us know in the comments because we are really interested and we would love to know just what type of birds they are. There's loads of little shops up here at the top as well, selling lots of like arts and crafts and different paintings and loads of beads. So many beautiful, beautiful things. So we're just walking around and looking at them all. And I wish we had an empty bag so that we could buy all these things and take them home with us. But unfortunately we just can't. So we're just gonna walk around and just take them all in. Okay, we have just found a wee place that is a wee bit quieter, not too many people around here. But honestly, I'm just lost for words. This place is, just beautiful. I don't even know what to say. It is amazing. It is so colorful. The noises of like all the different bells that are being rung. There's like musical instruments being played somewhere and all the smells as well from the incense, the fire and different things. It's just like a full like sensory overload completely, but it is honestly just, just amazing. We're having such a good time here. We're so glad we came. Oh, monkey. And there's so many monkeys, which makes it a wee bit fun as well. But yeah, it's just an absolutely amazing place. <laughs> Oh wow, what an experience we just had there. We were literally just walking around the temple area and then we seen there was a whole other kind of location area that we just didn't know was here. We hadn't here. checked out yet. Hadn't seen, so we went for a wee walk down there and there was loads of traditional music playing we could hear, so we went to see what was happening. I look around and Owen is <laughs> dancing away. I was having a wee boogie with a couple of like local people and it was honestly wicked. The music was so, so cool as well. It was kind of completely different to any music we've heard before. And yeah, it was just a, an unbelievable experience. We had to dance too, so we had to get Definitely. in and there was a woman showing us all the different dances and it was yeah. so, so cool. And then cool. another man came over with this like red powder and he put it on their faces and stuff. <laughs> I don't know what it represents, I don't know what it means, so if you do know, please let us know because we are so, so yeah. interested. But it was just an amazing experience, we just felt so welcomed and just in general in Nepal here so far, all the people have been amazing. So, so nice. The the Nepali we people have felt great. so, so welcome. Everybody it's crazy, saying yeah, so nice. Street, namaste yeah like, where are you from and honestly it just it's such a nice feeling yeah but that was just a, a great experience we have a proper big smile and a buzz on our face now and yeah the day has just been amazing from start to finish so far and so unexpected from yeah. what we thought the day was going to be I thought so we were yeah coming to see a temple and some monkeys i know i know we thought there's going to be a short video too i don't think it's going to happen now but we've a wee bit more exploring to do and then we'll see what else happens <laughs> So there's loads of people here throwing money into like a wee, it looks like there's like a wee pot in the middle of the water here. I'm not too sure why. Can I ask, why, why do you throw coins in here? Oh, so you make a, make a wish and you throw a coin and if it goes inside, oh, okay. okay. So I think what we're gonna do now is you can go and exchange money for coins over here and then you throw your coins into this wee kind of jar looking thing in the 
the pond fountain kind of area and you make a wish and if you get your coin in then your wish is meant to come true. I think we could do some good luck so I'm gonna go get some coins and hopefully get a wish come true. <laughs> so we just got our coins. I'm not too sure what they are to be honest with you. They look like really old kind of change nearly. I'm not too sure. We paid 20 rupees for all of these coins. Maybe about maybe about 20. So we're gonna go try and see can we get them into the jar. I'm gonna use all these, you have to get your own. <laughs> oh, oh, so close. Oh, it bounced out. I'm down to my last one and I haven't got one in yet. <laughs> this is much harder than I thought. <laughs> oh, the last one bounced out. No joy. We need to buy more, I need some luck. <laughs> okay, I'm down to my last three. I think I got it in. Did you get it in? I think I got my last one in. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! What did you wish for? Can't tell you. Fair enough. For it won't come true. Hopefully it'll come true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make our way back down from the temple here and we've completely forgot to mention the views from up here over Kathmandu. They have been absolutely insane. You can just see houses and mountains in the background for miles. It is absolutely incredible. But I think we've spent enough time up here so let's make our way back down. So many monkeys. And that is us back down the steps now, back onto the street. But what an experience this has been. It has been so much more than what we like expected Way today was more. gonna be. We have had such a good day. We have felt so, so welcomed here. I know yeah. we've already said that, but we really, really have. 100%, and if you're coming to Kathmandu, I would 100 million percent say you have to come check out this temple. And come at the weekend. Area. Come at the weekend. I feel like we got a very special experience today. Definitely, without a doubt. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, we massively appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe now. It's free. Come on, lads. Don't see why you don't. And hopefully, you'll join us again for another video. See you later. See ya. <laughs>